Tana Banani from Duar Tech in Morocco. Hi, I'm Tana. Welcome to Morocco. Why Duar? Duar is a word in Moroccan Arabic meaning village. Interestingly, it shares the same root with the word circle and community. In a country where women represent less than 20% of the workforce of the formal economy, Duar Tech trains, supports, and connects youth with area, in areas with high economic vulnerability to achieve socioeconomic autonomy with entrepreneurship, essential, and digital skills in a way that fosters inclusion, digital equity, and community leadership. I'd like to take you to Duar Tech space through the stories of two alumni of our female entrepreneurship training programs. When Bushra joined our program, she was 22 years old. She lived in Tetuan, where she was completing her IT engineering degree, where employment opportunities for university graduates are extremely limited. She was eager to start her digital development business. She spoke Arabic, French, and English. She had a smartphone and a laptop. Fatima Zara was 26 years old. She was from Safu, where she quit school at fifth grade and lived off selling her few, few handmade woodcarved items to passing toys. She wanted to turn her talent into a business. She spoke Arabic. She had a smartphone. During six months, Bushra and Fatima accessed the 14 weeks entrepreneurship course on Arizona State University Dream Builder e-learning platform. They interacted with select guest speakers at weekly online Duar Tech Talks, attended the three-day in-person digital immersion workshop, and built their e-commerce websites, acquired public speaking skills as they delivered two workshops in their communities for 40 indirect beneficiaries, had financial education workshops to learn how to manage personal and business finances distinctively. They received one-on-one -on -one online business coaching during two months to finalize their business plans and formalize their legal status. Our holistic value proposition includes a participative community-centered approach that builds on local stakeholders' response for site selection, emphasizes local stakeholders' recruitment, instills peer-to-peer -peer mentoring among participants, transfers knowledge at a rate of 40 indirect beneficiaries per participant, leverages the ecosystem to bring participants additional growth, and engages alumni community in consecutive programs. As they completed their training, Fatima opened her woodworking shop as a formerly registered business. She was eligible for a government funding that she used to purchase equipment and tools. She used her website to market her products online, but Tima supports other women in her community to start their business. Bushra launched her digital development agency in Tetuan. As a talented facilitator, she joined our following program as a volunteer. She is currently one of our local facilitators and a co-trainer of all of our digital immersion workshops. In a country where rural areas house 40% of the population, where educated women are 35% and connected women are 65, we are the only entrepreneurship training program that, that is catering to those educated and connected women, leveraging digital skills and digital literacy, helping their projects unfold in a digitized and formal economy, and supporting them to become leaders in their communities. Join us in supporting 5,000 educated and connected bourgeois and Fatimas by 2030 while we transfer entrepreneurship awareness and digital literacy to 200,000 indirect beneficiaries so we can ultimately disrupt the vulnerability cycle in the next generation of rural communities. Our current partners trust our ability to deliver, but we need your help to expand our national reach. With 100,000 US dollars, we can train 75 educated connected women with 50,000, we can structure our impact measurement and assessment, which will improve our access to future partners and additional youth beneficiaries. With strategic advisory and mentorship, we, you can help us design new programs addressing the needs of other disadvantaged groups. In which way have you chosen to become a digital equity change maker? Thank you for your attention.